When I was uh, heavy into analysis, I bought the uh, first three books in the four book series, these three, uh, of uh, Stein and Shakarshi uh, for the Princeton Lectures and Analysis. So there's four of them. And uh, I took a look at them and I realized that it was a big stretch for me to do these books uh, for various reasons. Now I'm going to make uh, four videos, one for each book, and I'm going to take the time to look at all the books that I have and see what it would take me to read each one of these books. This is something that if I ever do, it'll be uh, literally years from now, just because of all the other wonderful things that I want to do with math. So in this video, I'm only going to talk about the first book, which is uh, Fourier Analysis. Now, if I was to do this book right now, if I said, if I stopped everything. Uh, so, well, first, let me just show the book. Show the book, and then I'll get to that. Yeah, so, so the book starts with Fourier analysis. And uh, at the time, I guess, when this was published, they hadn't done the fourth volume. Um, these books are now 20-something years old, 21 years old. So it's just a Fourier analysis book. What else can be said about that? Talks about kernels. Uh, talks about convergence of Fourier series. Some applications, but of course, and I'll show some other books that I have with me for this video, that this is like engineering, right? There's a lot in there. Uh, then Fourier transform of R, and then on R to the N. Uh, then finite Fourier analysis, of course, uh, that's a big field in electronics. The fast Fourier transform, the FFT. Then Dirichlet's theorem, which is really a hook to number theory. Uh, and of course, there is, uh, I see spherical coordinates, spherical coordinates, so there's a lot of coordinate manipulation uh, in the appendices. It's got an integration appendix. So yeah. These are four courses that were taught at Princeton. I assume that everybody who took them had already had analysis and had already had like differential equations, maybe definitely number theory, I think. So uh, the, the, book, the books are all excellently printed, very carefully edited. Um, one of the things that I've noticed for these books is they read a lot like transcripts of uh, lectures than a, um, a, a really well honed uh, book for uh, with examples and answers in the back. There's none of that in this book. So this book is uh, will require for a self learner to do other books before, I think in my case, let me, let me personalize it to me. I, if I read this book right now, uh, it would be very hard for me just because uh, the lack of examples, it's abstracting out small chunks of a big field, right? So Fourier analysis is a very big field. Uh, and so I would have to do it with other books. And that's really what I'm going to talk about next uh, in this video. Now, the way the, the books are organized, there are exercises and problems. Exercises are supposed to be doable. Problems are supposed to be more like on the research side, very difficult. Um, so yeah, so these are some of the exercises which should be doable. And of course they have hints, which is nice, uh, some of them. But then there's always problems, which is basically uh, work hard to figure something out. Now, uh, I mean, of course, the, this bo these books were written by masters at a top university, so of course it's got a lot of really good content, but uh, I think it will take me several other books to get here. And I'm not going to page through the whole book, uh, just go to the back matter, and also to mention, uh, after you get through all the, the main Fourier series stuff, the last chapter is really a number theory chapter. And so it's uh, Dirichlet's problem uh, for uh, theorem of, of primes in arithmetic progression. So it's really a straight out of analytic number theory. And um, 
I looked a little bit through this when I was doing number theory. Yeah, then it's got an appendix, but uh, it's got some nice notes and it's got a nice bibliography. Of, but of course, as I mentioned before, it does not have uh, answers in the back. So how would I get to this book? How do I get to it? I mean, in my case, the way that I do things. Well, in my case, I would have to refresh myself with uh, a book like uh, Boys and the Prima for differential equations. I'm not even going to open the book. I'm just going to show it and say, yeah, I would have to do a lot of ODEs to get really immersed in differential equations. And then, because that book is a prerequisite, I would do a book like, uh, like uh, Brown and Churchill's uh, Engineering Fourier Series book. So it's got boundary, boundary value problems. And sure enough, when you look at this book, this is the Indian print, you'll see that uh, it's got tons of applications and it's really just a partial differential equations book with all sorts of physical applications from the perspective of um, Fourier series. So this is a great book. Of course, it's a companion book by the same authors on uh, complex uh, analysis. If you've seen my channel, you've seen that I covered that, uh, parts of that book when I was doing Saf and Snyder. So of course, it says it right here, impartial differential equations in engineering and physics. So you really, the entryway to this book is uh, ODEs. And I think that's the way that I would do it if, if and when I get to it. I have no idea when. I would do an ODE book, really get immersed in ODEs, then come in here and do Fourier series the way an engineer would do it, uh, and then really get immersed in all sorts of PDE uh, problems. Of course, in this book, and of course this video is not, not about this book, but I don't think I've ever shown it. If I did it, I forgot. I don't think I have. Uh, in the case of this book, because it's an engineering book, it's got a lot of answers. It doesn't have them on in the back, but it's got them within the problems. So if I just pick a random section, you will see answer. Right, so you will see that the problem has an answer. So the answers are in the book for many of the problems, uh, and that would be helpful. A book with answers for a self-learner is essential. So then, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it for this book. So yeah, it would, oh, and I forgot the number theory part. Never mind. It's not it. This is not it. So then, for the last problem, for the last section, I would have to uh, do analytic number theory. The problem that I currently have is that I don't have a baby analytic number theory book. I have Apostle, which is very good. I mean, the guy is great. But, and I've used this book also when I did number theory. And it's just hard. It's a hard book. Uh, it doesn't really have, I don't think it's got, I don't think it's got a single example. And so I remember when I was trying to use it for number theory, that there were some things that it would help me with, like the Mangold function. I remember the Mangold function, uh, but it just, it was just hard. It's a hard book. And so of course, there you have it. Chapter seven, Dirichlet's theorem on, price on, in, uh, on primes in arithmetic progressions. So that would be page 146. Oh yeah, and I see a table that, yeah. So then, of course, I would want to review this material, I think, before I landed in that section in uh, uh, Stein and Shakarshi. But yeah, I remember trying to work out these tables. Boy, are they hard. Anyways, so that's what I have for you.